my strange and charmed ones. Welcome back to my channel for my latest installment of What I Ate Wednesday. Today's What I Ate Wednesday is actually going to be a little bit of a special edition. Today I'm actually going to show you guys three apple related recipes for your fall cookbook. If you guys remember, Mike and I went apple picking a few weeks ago and we have so many apples left that I just was inspired to create a whole bunch of apple recipes for you guys on this What I Ate Wednesday. So I hope you guys enjoy. The first recipe that I'm actually going to show you guys is my dinner that is pictured here, which was actually a crock pot recipe. So if you guys have ever made crock pot recipes before, you know that those need to be started hours in advance. So actually before I even had breakfast today, I went ahead and made my crock pot meal. So that's where we're going to begin with this video. Okay, as you can see, I've got my crock pot right there and I've got a pork loin, a boneless pork loin right there out on the cutting board. That's something like three to four pounds. It's probably four pounds or close to four pounds of pork loin boneless. Um, then I have this big bowl of apples that I have diced up, not diced, but they're like cut into long wedges. This is like six apples and they do have their skin still on because I couldn't be bothered to remove them and it really doesn't affect anything. Then I've got some seasoning out here. This is cinnamon ginger, garlic powder, and a little bit of nutmeg. And there's my very dirty crock pot. It's dirty because I have another recipe that I had already made, although I'm not really going to talk to you guys about it because it's so simple. I just pulled the excess of these apples, these baked apples out of there. Um, this is going to be part of my meal today for breakfast. Um, and perhaps, a side. now it probably won't be a side for dinner too. But I made these the other day and they've just been like chilling in the crock pot. Um, basically all I did was I cut up something like, I think it was like 10 to 15 apples. I had actually taken the skin off of them, chopped them up and like diced them into little itty bitty pieces like that. You can say not itty bitty, but like, I don't know, like, you know, just small chunks. And I threw them in the crock pot with like, I don't know, like a cup of water and then covered them in cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg and mixed it all together. Um, and then I let them bake for a few hours. And then when they were like nice and soft, but like before they turned to mush. So these are like nice and soft and like keeping their shape still. Yummy, even cold. Um, <laughs> before they turned to mush, I put a little bit of Truvia on them. I mixed them all together. And that's, I made like a baked apple, like kind of like a faux fried apple, but like they're baked in here. And these are great because I like to use these as sides. Um, and I also like to use these in my breakfasts and I'll just, whatever I want to munch on something, this is like sweet, it tastes sweet and it's got nice like, you know, yummy fall spices and yeah, so that's in there, that's why that's dirty. So yeah, that's how I made those, super easy, like not even worth showing you guys the recipe. So anyway, I just pulled the rest of those out and I've got a little bit, just like a little bit of juice at the bottom, just like not even a centimeter. So I'm going to put this pork in there. No reason to even clean out the pan because the same stuff is going in there basically. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this pork loin is bake it in the crock pot. But the first thing I'm gonna do is take some of these apples, make like a bed for it down at the bottom. I wanna cover the bottom of this crock pot with apples. So it's got like a nice surface to bake on. I'm like using the camera <laughs> to see. Okay, that's good. That's nice and covered. Now I'm gonna take this bad boy. I apologize for the shoddy camera work. He's just going right on top. Shove him in. Yep, 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 shove him in. Now, at this point, I'm going to add the most elegant amounts of my spices. And by, element, and by elegant, I mean, watch how lazy I am about this. So I'm just throwing cinnamon on. Ooh, and lots of cinnamon. Nutmeg, 
Not a lot of nutmeg. If anyone knows anything about nutmeg, it, oh, it goes really well with cinnamon, but it's a really strong flavor, so you don't want to like have too much of that. Garlic powder, because we don't want this to taste too sweet. And ground ginger, because surprise, surprise, I love ground ginger, and it's my secret ingredient in like every meat dish. I always put ginger in every meat dish, so got ground ginger on there as well. So you can see those were like really, really measured out proportions. And by measured out, I mean not at all. Come on, this is done, have to be hard. So the rest of what I'm gonna do is, let's just, let's just throw this in here. This is like an impromptu episode of Lazy Girl Cooks. Like it doesn't get lazier than this, I swear. Okay, apples all on top. <laughs> Lovely, beautiful. Now I've got like a cup, half cup, three quarters of a cup water. I don't even know what I have. This is just going in to just create a little bit of moisture, that's all. Because the apples will sweat off moisture and the pork will sweat, sweat off moisture, but I like to have a little bit added. So that was, I think that was actually three quarters of a cup. I just put in a little bit. It's not a big deal because it's not really that necessary. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, put this on high. I'm gonna cook it for on high for maybe the whole time. I'll be really honest, you guys. I never really understand the way the high, medium work on crock pots. I kind of just always guess unless a recipe tells me what to do. And clearly I made this recipe, so I am just making it up. So I'm going to keep it on high at least for like half the day because it is a little bit, it is still a little bit earlier um, than I would, I've been starting my other crock pot meals. So I will put this on high for like maybe half the day and if I remember, I'll put it on low. So that's what we're gonna do. That is done. Actually, you know what I wanna do? <sighs> it's not done. I think of extra things. I'm adding some more cinnamon on top. And a bit of more nutmeg on top and a bit ground ginger. I'm just putting all my seasonings on top as well because I want these apples to get, where's that, there's ground ginger. Sorry if I keep dragging off there. And there's more garlic powder. Okay, good, awesome. Now it's done, perfect. Yeah, I just wanna make sure those apples get nice and discolored and like turn to that um, as well. I don't need them to be like necessarily as soft, but let me tell you, that pork is gonna be like drenched in like apple flavoring. So, okay, so that is my dinner put together, which is good. Um, and I'll show you that obviously when it's done at dinner time. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and have a little tea break because I'd made a tea for myself before I started. It's probably gone cold. My tea's gone cold. No, it's not, it's still nice and warm. So I've got my tea here um, with a little bit of stevia and honey mixed in. And I'm going to have that right now, and I'm going to browse the web, and I'm going to do my hair and makeup, and I'll come back and make breakfast. So, I'll see you guys in just a minute. So, I just started making my breakfast, so I was like, wait a minute, you have to film. So, sorry about that, I already kind of started. So, all I'm having today is oatmeal, and the way I make my oatmeal is I use half a cup of this, and I take a cup of this, what is this, milk, 1%. Um, you could use whatever you want to use, but I like to use 1% milk. And then I stick this in the microwave for three minutes, but I got to keep an eye on it because my microwave likes to make this explode. So, yeah. Okay, so how's this doing? Looks good, looks good. Oh, it's actually a little too watery. Ugh, put it back in the microwave now. Ah, super hot. Yeah, that's a much better consistency. Okay, to that, I'm just going to put in two stevia and then mix it up. Okay, stevia is mixed in and the oatmeal is nice and thick. So now I'm gonna pour it into my bowl. Okay, now to this, I'm gonna add 
just some of my apples that have already been baked in the crock pot just to top it off. And I like a lot, so I put a nice heaping pile on top there. So this is going to be my breakfast. Looks delicious. So it is about lunchtime now, and I am going to start making my lunch. But first, I thought I'd give you guys a little peek at the progress of my uh, pork in here. You can see it is sizzling away, and the apples have started to reduce and brown to that beautiful sort of caramel color. They're doing really well, and I, I, I put it down to low now because it's about halfway through its cooking, and I think it's doing a really good job. Uh, so I think with the simmering, staying simmering for another few hours will be perfect. So that is doing very, very well. So for lunch today, I am going to make another apple recipe. Um, and this is a chicken salad with apples, um, basically. So this is really great if you are not a fan of tuna salad or like tuna fish, um, but you like that kind of like salad-y sort of, I don't know, like that sort of meat salad thing. I don't even know what you call those. Um, so this is like a chicken salad. So I've got here this big can, 12 and a half ounces of chicken breast, 98% fat free, 45 calories per two ounces. It's pretty good, I guess. I've already drained it from the most of the water. Um, so that is now in there. And what I like to do with this is start breaking it up with like a fork so that it kind of shreds a little bit better. I'm probably gonna have to put the camera down so I can do this because it's more of like a two-handed sort of operation, but I will show you once I'm done. Okay, so you can see I've got that all shredded up. That looks perfect now. Just a few minutes of, sh you know, just pressing on it with a fork and it breaks up most of the large pieces. Next, I've got a small apple that I've already, um, I've already corded and took the outside off of it, uh, the skin, and it just diced it into really small little bite-sized pieces. I'm just going to go ahead and add that. Perfect. Next, I've got some roasted garlic hummus. Um, and I'm going to add this in instead of something like mayonnaise um, that would normally be the kind of like binding agent to a chicken salad or a tuna salad. So I've just got one big teaspoon here and I just already have it portioned out for myself so it was easy for me to add in. Okay, I'm going to need two hands for this one. Give me a sec. Okay, so I've got the hummus now in there, and I added like another half of that teaspoon as well, so like one and a half teaspoons. I just wanted to make sure there was enough. And now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to add some salt. This is just sea salt. You can see here. Garlic powder, just a little bit for extra seasoning. I just like the way that garlic powder enhances the taste of food. And then I've got a little bit of ground cayenne pepper. just for a little extra smokiness and spiciness. And to top that off, I'm actually going to use a little bit of cooking spray just to kind of give an added lubrication to the meat since we're not really using mayonnaise and hummus as a little bit of a drier sort of a condiment. I would maybe usually put maybe like a teaspoon of olive oil in here, but just for the sake of being a little bit healthier, I'm going to do the cooking spray just to kind of give me a little added oil without being too heavy. Great, now I just have to mix this all up. Okay, so I just took a little bite of that. It is perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plate this out for myself. Now, just a word on that. Obviously, this is like a chicken salad, so you could put it on a sandwich, or you could use like little crackers and just eat crackers with the salad. I'm just going to have a little bit of this, probably just half of it, um, and I'm probably just going to have a little side of applesauce with it to add to the appleiness. <laughs> okay, so that is my lunch, a helping of the chicken apple salad with hummus and some applesauce that I added a little bit of cinnamon to to uh, make it like a cinnamony applesauce. So it looks delicious. Okay, friends, I have my crock pot here and it is dinner time. So let's see what we've got. I turned this guy off. Oh, if you guys hear music in the background, just ignore that. I have some scary music playing for when Mike came home so that it would be festive in the house. So the apples are looking beautiful and delicious and brown. 
I'm gonna have to go in to check. Ooh, there's you can see the pork. I just like hit a part of it and it totally is just like floating up here. So I don't want to make this like pulled pork. Um, so I'm just gonna cut off part of the pork and serve it with the apples. And I'll show you guys what it looks like because I don't want to kind of I don't want to like ruin it right now. It looks really good. Okay, so this is what it looks like. For the most part, when I cut it up, um, it just turned to pulled pork. So let me show you Mike's plate because I gave him a lot more. And see how it just, it literally has been like boiling in this apple juice <laughs> kind of mixture all day. So it literally turned to pulled pork. So Mike's is more pulled porky. Mine is like an end, so it held together a teeny bit, but I think that's only just because I got lucky when I was cutting it. And on the side, we also have those apples and I made some polenta um, as a side to go with this because I just thought it would go well. So this looks delicious and Mike and I are going to have dinner now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this special edition of What I Ate Wednesday with three apple recipes for your seasonal fall cookbook. If you have any questions about my recipes, please make sure to leave me a comment below. And of course, give this video a like if you would like to see more of these videos and these What I Ate Wednesdays and recipes and such. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more awesome videos by me. Until the next video, you guys, bye-bye. Okay, so I think I think I did it. I think he looks pretty good. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Did I do a good job? I think I did. I think that he looked